Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder again with another Reddit story for you. This one is titled, Am I the astronaut for saying that my cousin needs to actually have custody in order to bring her daughter to Christmas dinner? Oof. I, 20 female, am a mom to a baby girl, Olivia, 2 female, and she ended up getting an ear infection. So I asked a friend to babysit during the evening while I went to Christmas dinner with my family. I was only planning to stay for two hours to eat dinner and drop off gifts. During the dinner, my cousin Maya, 28 female, commented on the fact that I didn't bring Olivia. Now, Maya tends to be judgy and nitpicky about other people with snide comments about what they're doing. She was relentless in doing this when I first had my daughter because I was so young. Even though she had her kid in similar circumstances and only got married because of it, which led to her divorce last year. I just replied that she had an ear infection and was with a trusted friend. Maya didn't say anything in reply, so I figured that was that and kept eating. My aunt was serving dessert when Maya piped up and said as a mom herself, she wouldn't dream of leaving her daughter with a babysitter on Christmas, even if she was sick. Maya implied that I wasn't a real mom for doing this. Real moms think about that kind of stuff. And tried to get my other two cousins to join in, but they kept quiet. I was annoyed by this, and so I said, well, you need to actually have custody of your daughter to bring her here. Maya lost custody of her daughter during the divorce and only has visits every other weekend. Maya freaked out, calling me a bitch for bringing her kid into it. I got up from the table in the middle of her yelling, gathered my things, said bye to my other family members, and left. I got texts from my dad, uncle, mom, and aunt saying that I was petty for bringing up the fact that she doesn't have custody of her daughter and I should have just let what happened slide. My cousins think Maya deserved what I said. I felt pretty happy with my decision to call Maya out at first, but now that my other family members are getting on my ass about it, I'm a little torn. But, 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 I mean, you fought petty with petty. She was being petty with her comments about you not being a real mom because your kid was sick and you didn't want to bring her to the family get together thing. I mean, it was either you not come. uh, We would have not gone like we would have stayed with the sick kid. That's besides the point. She was being petty. She combated it with petty. It is a petty confetti thing. You fought petty with petty and she did deserve it. So we see, we see a lot of stories like this where family members get involved and and say, basically you should have, should have been the bigger person. You should have not rocked the boat. You got to understand that they are only saying that because they have to deal with aftermath. They have to deal with other family members bitching about what their kid did. It is an inconvenience to them. They are thinking selfishly when they say that you should have not rocked the boat. You should have been the bigger person because they have to deal with aftermath. That's it. Understand that anytime that shit happens, or you're like, I really feel like I'm in the right, but my, my family is now saying that I'm the asshole. That's only because you caused them an inconvenience. That's it. And shame on them for prioritizing their convenience over your moral grounds. Really? I think I would fire that back and be like, oh, okay. So, so you think I should have just let someone treat me like shit. Is that, is that what you want me to show my daughter to? Is that you want what you want me to teach her? Whenever my daughter is in a situation where someone's treating her like shit, you want me to tell her to just let it happen and be the bigger person. You don't want her to stand up for herself because you, my parents right now are telling me not to stand up for myself. So you're okay with me being treated like shit by other people and not standing up for myself. Cool. Good to know folks. Bye-bye. You were justified And what you said, you didn't have to do it, but you felt compelled to do it because she was being a petty shithead. And guess what? Pain creates change. And I am deducing from this story that you had enough of her shit. You said that she gets, she tends to be judgy and nitpicky about other people with snide comments about what they're doing. You got fed up. You had enough. So you finally swung back and she didn't like it. Well, guess what? She probably won't start shit with you again because now she knows you have a backbone. Can't take the heat. Get out the damn kitchen, sis. She got fed up. I'm at an NTA. I don't know if I said that. I'm at an NTA. I mean, and probably technically, it you know, it could have been done differently. She's probably technically an ASCON for because it could have been handled differently. But she was justified in the response here. And yeah, using kids is never cool. But if somebody is attacking you because and using your kid first, and they're in a position where they shouldn't be throwing stones, then bring it up.